Yes, and William here with another Walking Dead video for you guys, and I am recording this right after the last one, so I have no clue if you guys even watched the last one. <clears throat> it was just so fun to record, I just feel like I have to record another one right now, and I might even record another one right after. Anyway, I adjusted some settings with the first one, because I did notice when I was watching the first one that there was some lag at parts. I'm so sorry for that, but I did adjust my video recorder to record in a lower quality, but so to prevent lag. Okay, I mean, it's still high quality, but it's not super high quality like it was set to. Okay, anyway, today I am going to be playing, continuing episode one, a new day for you guys. Hopefully, I can stretch this out to a little bit, a little bit longer last time, because last time it was just under half an hour, so I figured to even it out, I could do, do um, about a little over 30 minutes, maybe? But basically, with this one, um, it's going to be really fun, and I cannot wait to see who we're going to meet. Remember, if you remember from last time, we just escaped Clementine's neighborhood with those two guys we just met to go to their house or wherever we're going. And they said something about food, so that's going to be awesome. And uh, we're going to their house, and woo, there we go. strangers are nice in the zombie apocalypse. So, let's continue! Woo! <laughs> yes, yes. Mysterious. Oh, we're on a farm. Sweet. Farm hey, Sean. Cool. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. He's gonna die. I have a feeling he's gonna die. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad yeah, he is. Help <laughs> so he saved our asses from all the zombos. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, Sweet. run on in and see my <gasps> sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. I can. This is swollen. Looks like a skinny animal. version of Santa Claus. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. We met a farmer. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. <laughs> daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, 
We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already There's said other people okay. here. That's gonna be awesome. Well, I'm all when done we get here. to meet them. It should start to feel better tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, kind sir. I will. Uh, I appreciate your good job on my leg. Okay, I appreciate it. What do we do? Uh, thank you very much. We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Oh, okay. hey, I see what you did there. I almost had to kill I'm you with the same right hammer I used to kill the zombies if I still had that. Too bad I don't have that anymore. I really should have kept that hammer. Lee, you're an idiot. You're a freaking oh, idiot. Woo! Let's get to sleep. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Ooh, plops. <laughs> yeah, plop, plop, plop. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. They're dead, Clem! Congratulations! Hey, you lost your parents, so fuck you. Pretty far. Oh, okay. Let's go to sleep. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh wait, no. Don't let the zombos bite. <laughs> Nighty night. Don't let the zombos bite. Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh... Yeah, she has spiders in her hair. Name's Lee. I'm daddy. Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Woo! That's I like this boy, new guy. Ken Jr. <laughs> we call him <laughs> Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. No, it's Thanks. not. It's a sucky well, name. We should Shut get to the work. Fuck up, lady. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. And hey, what you doing, sir? You ought to talk to them because talking. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. 
People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Woo! Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Ooh, let's go talk to this new friend. Hello, new friend. Can I talk to you for a second, friend? Can I talk to you for hey a there, second? Uh, Kenny? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Hey, Kachi wouldn't he be wild some about it, dolphin but over there. that bad. You know what? See you. Let's take that boat. What's your face? Um, let's take that boat and let's um, start whaling. Let's get some yummy whale meat. Whales. <laughs> Whales. Why does whale sound funny? I like the word whale. How you doing, Doug? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Let's talk to this guy. I forget his name because I am not good at names. Woo! Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. Oh, it's terrible. There's dead people. I saw now a guy in you can uh, a say, I see dead people Boy, and not be considered right crazy. Face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. Yeah, shoot I shot the gun. Maybe. Ooh, that song makes sense far now. Away. That song. That old song like, I shot the Dad share. just wants to keep the family safe. And, and I don't know that there is a no word to this song. Whatever's out there. <laughs> How about yours? How's your family? What family? I don't got no family. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Oh, it's bad. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, 
Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I might go do that. I'm gonna go help out in the barn. I'll help his dad in the barn. I like his dad. His dad seems like a nice guy, and he fixed up uh, Lee's leg. That's pretty good! Pretty fucking good. You know what, let's lock him in the barn and run away. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Hey, yeah, was he had dreams. Having a place like this. That were fresh. in the family. So probably his kids. so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! No, no, no! no. I'll get my gun! Go! Yes, you do that. You get the gun. I will run away as far away from you as possible because the Zombos are here! Team Human is not looking very good. But what did you do? You gotta save them. Woo! Bashing in the zombie's head. One part that you didn't turn for is the part where you did. See, see, see. See, see, the literally, you even reinforced behind your tractor. Why didn't you? How? Why did you not reinforce that part of the tractor? Starting to sorry. like him. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. Yes, we do. And we don't you, know you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now, please, just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, I liked him. Can I keep your tractor that helped kill your son? I like that tractor. I want to learn how to ride it. Can I? Can I please keep the tractor? Can I? Can I? Or can we have some You've food got that to go? To make it if you want it. I wonder if there's a fast food joint on the way there. That'd be nice. Be pretty nice.
Ooh, Chucky Hardware. Liquor store. We're in the town. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Does this town have no zombos in it? Because that would be awesome. Ooh, the drugstore. Isn't that Lee's parents' drugstore? What a coinkadink! What a coinkadink! Hey there! Woo. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Yeah, fuck! Hit run! Run! When you walk right into the zombo spawn point. When you walk right into the zombo spawn point. Run! Right into the zombo spawn point. And they all start spawning around. Take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are, they could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Wait, did Duck not make it? Did Duck what not fucking make it? He was my favorite I character. You better not me. kill Duck. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. And do oh. something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you Ooh. were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? What do we do? What Dad, do we do? it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. I'm gonna kick, kick his, his ass. ass. That's this I'm guy doing. is a fucking asshole. I'm gonna kick anything. his ass. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten mm. alive! You know what? Yeah. Sit down! Yes. Yeah. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade! This one! <laughs> That's good. Little boy! Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat! Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there! It's just locked. He's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then... There'll be three. Hmm. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. He'll be a zombie villager from Minecraft. Tiny and fast. Now. Tiny and fucking fast. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh man. Go, 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 go. I need to save Clementine. I need to save Clementine. 
Save coming from! Save! 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 Spam it! Spam it! Spam it! Spam! 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 That's how you kill a zombo, okay? That is how you kill a zombo. Just great. Shoot them right in the fucking brains so where they die, okay? I do not like him very much. Do not like him very much. What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm yeah. sorry to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What or is suggest? it? We can make it we Fort Knox. Much all we need is so we all Nazi gold. Oh wait, no, that's Switzerland that has all the Nazi gold. Then I'll head out and get gas. Never mind. Hotel, nope. Not too um, far from here. Out it's towards the end um, of the Woo! I'll my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. Hey, okay, yeah, you, let's do you that. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. We should kill Doug. You shift in with He's Doug like when he the needs biggest it. one here. For we now, could eat get him. some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Talk Heard to or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh. Huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. You know what? I'm just just to fuck you guys over. I'm gonna go out there and just freaking scream, okay? If you throw up, throw up in the other direction. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? You know, that one with the mouth thing now looks like a monster from... What's, what's the game called? Amnesia. That one looks like a monster from Amnesia. We better keep it down out of here. You want to try to play Amnesia for this, for YouTube? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear on us, huh? Oh shit. What? Do you know oh, that that's guy? His brother. Kind of me. 
has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and they all cheat up and... Shut up, Doc. <laughs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow <clears throat> prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Look at all the beautiful zombos. All the zombos. Anyway, I think it's time we head back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Didn't talk You're to her. A pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? Ooh, is that a radio? Work, Could we listen to the news on the radio? To see if the zombos are taking over the world yet? Oh, wait, I can load it over. I did not realize I could... There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. Ooh, batteries. Yeah. I need to find... Le to find batteries. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Let's see if we can find some some batteries. What's this? What was that? Ooh, Ooh I can give it to Clem. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I'm gonna find those batteries. Well, what is this? Maybe that's just another. Set. Oh, that's another one. Let's see if we can find some batteries. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Who is there? Batteries over here. Yeah, there was a battery. Let's see if we can find another. Another battery. Somewhere. Ooh, is this a battery? Yeah, that's a battery! Let's fix the radio! 
This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Carly. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Whoop. Go ahead. Let's see if this news reporter is as smart as she claims to be. First of all, let's check the batteries. Yep, she's done. She has the batteries in her. What? Wait, 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 there's an antenna. Okay, now that is... As the you fixed it. ...continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless... Hmm. Well, that news station got totally fucked in the ass. Anyway. Anyway, guys. I am, um... Oh, shit. This is where parents are. Anyway, guys. I am going to leave the video here for now. It has... We have reached our time. I am gonna have lunch now. But anyway. I'm gonna leave the video here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and put a comment in section on your thoughts and your suggestions to see how I can improve and just what you overall like or dislike about the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!